locally, Lambton County, Ontario, and St. Clair County, Michigan, we kind of view ourselves as one community with a river running through it. We don't look at it as two different countries. The cause for exercise is really an opportunity to experiment with some new technologies. And the goal is to build a network of communication, both data and potentially voice communication, that will span the border, which will make um, interoperability function of emergency medical services and other emergency responders easier and more seamless across the international border. First, it's weather-based. So early on, a weather watch comes out. We test a cross-border alert group, so the Canadians are aware of it. But as soon as a weather warning takes place, now we're getting into uh, details of weather spotters, what information they're coming in. When the weather service issues the warning, they do it in a polygon type box. Uh, we're taking that right off the warning, going on to a map and automatically notifying our central dispatch that these are the sirens that need to be activated within that area. So you won't have to sit and try to determine. A uh, tornado we estimate will probably affect about four to 600 homes in the county. So there'll be a flurry of social media activity. The digital volunteer program allows us to pull information from public who are posting uh, on social media. So for the cause experiment, they will be monitoring uh, for cause and be reporting in using the uh, online uh, form as well as uh, communicating with us by email. Uh, we'll have our emergency operations staff in here. Uh, they'll be viewing the data. They'll begin making their decisions. Having the ability to connect with 211, you know, if we have an overload, whether it's in our 911 center or if it's in the emergency operations center, we can count on 211 to step in. It's a phone number that people can call when they need information about community and social services or services provided by the government. During an emergency, uh, municipalities can tap into us as a resource and as a way to get information out to the public. What roads are closed? Where's an emergency shelter located? Or how can I help with the victims of the emergency? So they can call 211 and get that sort of information. It really helps reduce non-emergency calls to 911. One of the key things that are important about uh, 211 is that they can tell us what calls they're receiving and guide the emergency operations center uh, in responding to residents. We're basically automating damage assessment right from the citizen that fills out a form electronically. It maps, it also goes to a more detailed form it tells us where we need to send our damage assessment personnel. It prioritizes all the damage in the county. It will keep track of the number of homes destroyed, major damage, minor damage. It'll have a dollar amount calculated at any given time. So last night there was a, a local uh, warning that came out and it was a benzene release. Uh, the local authorities uh, used their, their normal notification, sirens were, were being sound, and officials within the cause environment uh, were obviously notified, and it was really interesting to look at the interaction and how, how the social media and the alerts and warnings came out, how the response was coming in from, from officials, as well as from the digital side. Cause 4 worked. <laughs>